Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So now that 1.13 is out, or that we've upgraded the server, that means there are new enchants, which means there are new librarians. Um, uh, I haven't developed this guy yet. So I've been going through and sort of clearing out some of the villagers. And let me show you how that works. Let me grab a minecart here. So, hi, Mr. Nitwit. You're completely useless, aren't you? Yeah. So, why don't you go for a little ride? Oh, okay. Sometimes they go the way you don't want them to, but that still works, which is nice. So, this sends them all the way off down there. Where they have a seriously bad day. Plop! Oh no, what's that burning? Oh, pay no attention to that. Oh, hello, Mr. Nitwit. You're also seriously useless, aren't you? Let's see if we can get you out of here. So I tried to let them breed up a little bit because I went through and, and culled quite a few of the villagers. And, oh, that worked nicely. Hi, you are, you are Fletcher. I don't care about you so much. So, um, and then when I see the white coats, I captured them as babies in the minecart and let them grow up in there so I can keep track of them. Because it's kind of hard. I don't have the... Uh, the village info plugin doesn't work on this version of Spigot. So that means um, I, I don't really have a good idea how many villagers are in here. I know I've got one up there, so that's like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a good number. Are there any hiding in here? Nope. Uh, I saw one going back in here. Hi. Were you one of the ten? You might be. So ten or eleven, and then. They like congregating in here at nighttime special. Okay, so, I've, okay, let's say 10 villagers, uh, which means there's room for another, um, another 19, another nine, I think. So I'll let them breed up for a little bit, but let's, uh, let's see what this guy has. I did start pulling out the librarians and I had a, I had a librarian with a fire aspect two book for 19, uh, emeralds wasn't bad uh, and then I found I found another one that had it for 14 emeralds and he was in here but now um, but now I have oh where did he go I should have been prepared for this sorry I'm pretty much sure he's over here fire aspect yeah, Fire Aspect 2 for 9 emeralds. Hi, dude. It's his last trade here. But hey, Fire Aspect 2 for 9 emeralds. Not bad. If you need to put together a bow. So, that's uh, much cheaper. And I have another librarian here. Alright, so Infinity for 5. I already have an Infinity 5 guy. But, let's unlock, let's unlock the other trades. And let's see what this guy has to offer. So for the first trade, first time you trade any new trade, so the first time you do any of these, it unlocks the villager and they get healed and they open up a new trade if there is one available. Okay, so Infinity 1. 8 books for an emerald, 10 emeralds for a compass, 4 emeralds for a bookshelf. Okay, well I don't really need... A lot of bookshelves but that's a good trade to use look at that low particles oh he's he's trying to breed it's not gonna work so well with him sitting in a minecart uh, 10 emeralds for a clock one emerald for five panes of glass five blocks of glass that's not bad so we will we will get ourselves some glass yeah and by not bad, I think I mean that's the best it gets as far as the glass trade goes. Okay, 15 emeralds for infinity. Uh, well, that's funny because over here, same guy 
wants to give me five for infinity. Okay, that's not going to work. Now, I'm not going to trade one of these books to unlock more. I'm not going to spend ten emeralds on a clock. or eh, I could set up and write a bunch of books. but Okay, so we're going to do paper trades and see if we can get him to unlock by trying to get... If we can do five trades in a row before he locks, that should pretty much guarantee that he'll get the particles... Unlock. Unlock. Uh, un, un. Really? <sighs> okay. He's going to be difficult. So let's get some more books. No. Let's get some more glass. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, stop moving him around. He's got work to do. Okay, that should do it. Should. Are you unhappy because you're in a minecart? Okay, let me let me eat. I'm a little hungry. Dude. I'll buy some more bookshelves off you. Will that help? Let's um Uh huh. Uh huh. Cause I need more books. Ah, there we go. Very good. What do you got? What's your last trade? 26 for Curse of Vanishing. <laughs> Obviously, not a particularly desirable trade, but we have... I have a Curse of Vanishing guy over here, right? Or maybe he's upstairs. Is this what I... I really need a cheaper Power 5. <laughs> power 5 trade. Um... Curse of, Curse of Vanishing for 22. He wanted 24, which means he's a loser. Arr. One thing about this version is uh, mobs and minecarts, like zombies, they can no longer push the minecarts around. So David S. Pumpkins is kind of stuck right where he is. To figure out what to, I still need to decide what to do with him. Maybe I'll work on that for Halloween. I think that would be a good sort of Halloween thing okay so let's get let's get mr librarian out of here because he's not really going to do us any good so i'm running some rails over to him hi do you want to go for a ride too because i can arrange that <laughs> those llamas are very funny sounding over there hi I don't really need another cleric right now. Why don't you stop, though? Okay. You can go back now. You can go for the ride. Ride's open. There we go. And notice, I've got three iron golems in here. So the accident on the iron farm is once again open for business. The last several weeks I haven't had any sort of spurious iron golems spawning and since the upgrade they've been they've been spawning it's a little bit uh, inconvenient and I I'm actually have 22 deaths now because I accidentally whacked one of the iron go hi I accidentally whacked one of the iron golems in the in the toe because their hitboxes are kind of gargantuan so Hey. Hi. No, wait. Hey, Mr. Nitwit, where are you going? I was doing this for you. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so their hitboxes. I turn on hitboxes. You can see they're, they're flipping gargantuan. So trying to, like, with a pickaxe, hit a rail, which was right there... Nowhere near the golem. Well, no, it was very much near the golem, and that was uh, that was no good. He hit me, he hit me hard, and then he hit me again, and I was dead. Hey, hey, no, 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 no! Oh shoot! Okay, dude, out of the way! Okay, okay.
There we go. So let me turn off the hitboxes because that's kind of annoying. So I need to start killing the iron golems again. That's uh, frustrating. <clears throat> I mean, I don't need that much iron. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty well iron-wise. Oh no, empty minecart. Where'd the villager that was inside it go? Right. So anyway, um, let me go stick some of these in here. See, I've got like bunch of bookshelves and I break these to get books to trade with them when I need it so let's go ahead and dump all this let me grab these because this might be helpful and uh, this way thing number two down here that I noticed uh, somebody came and grabbed all my sugar cane I think I mentioned that and look the chests are still empty and that one is still that one over there is still empty too trust me on this but if you come here and look, the sugar cane is all grown up. Oh no, what's going on? Well, there was a change to 1.13 and sticky slime blocks and sticky pistons no longer and push uh, are no longer blocked by, uh, what are these called? Uh, no blocks. So, this is a little bit of a problem. I have note blocks all along here <laughs> to prevent the sticky pistons from catching on other blocks because note blocks used to be like impervious to slime blocks pushing them. No longer the case. So now I'm gonna have to use glazed terracotta. So I, I have a bunch of orange terracotta or hardened clay, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, so that was, so I just smelted some of that up. So let's get my pickaxe here. And try to avoid breaking the slime. Oh. Now one thing that I will miss about this is that periodically the uh, when the when the observer block fired and set off the uh, the pistons, the sticky pistons, uh, it would play a little tune. <laughs> and the the ones that were down here, I think, that are on top of the glass, it plays like a kind of a knocking sound. It's a little bit creepy, actually. Um, and I was I would hear that and then kind of like, oh, oh, what's going on there? So, wait. Why was that a note block? Didn't need to be, did it? I don't think so. Oh, I've got note blocks under those slime blocks. Oh man, okay, so I do have to break all this slime block. Oh, that was it, the little thump on top of the, the stone. Huh, okay, well that's fine. Oh, I had space underneath here. A lot of space. Interesting. All right, so let's get all this torn out, and then we will replace, and then we'll have to reprime it by <clears throat> breaking this piece of sugar cane here. I think we'll do it. Oh, and water underneath here, of course. So go pick all that up. <sighs> so now we've got a bunch of note blocks I have to figure out what to do with. These, this, the orange glazed terracotta is pretty, I don't know, it's a little garish, isn't it? There we go. And then we'll go over here. Maybe in patterns like, patterns along the floor or something, it'll be a little, huh. They, they make sound over water. I didn't realize that. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. What happened there? I'm still getting used to the swimming. Huh. I didn't realize I had uh, stuff back there, too. All right. So, glazed terracotta. Go plop and plop. And then we'll place it... Um... I place it in the corner there? No. 
Do I have another? Oh, of course I got stone bricks because I grabbed a whole bunch of stone bricks. This one here can be stone brick. So could that one there technically, but. And then uh, more glazed terracotta across the, the, the here. Plop. And then we've got uh, I have to remind myself how this was built, don't I? Okay, so now glazed terracotta to the side because there's going to be a slime block right here. Here are the slime blocks. Should be 24 of them, which there are. Okay. And then here, oh, take out these. I'll take out that one. I guess it doesn't matter that there's no dirt down there because nothing's ever going to fall on that. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Should be something here. Yeah, let's, let's put that there. Okay, and then glaze terracotta there. And then the other 12 slime blocks. I hope I have enough of the glaze terracotta. And then this has to be glaze terracotta here. Get off of that slime block so it stops bouncing like that. And then I had something over top of that, did I? I must have, because. Otherwise, stuff's going to spawn down there, and that's no good. I don't know. I'm a little confused. If I'm going to put blocks behind it, it has to be more glazed terracotta, though. I don't know that I have enough. Oh, well, maybe I, I must have. So with that, there will only be one block. And nothing should be able to spawn underneath that. And then we put in the glazed terracotta on top of the slime blocks. <clears throat> and with the glowstone up here, all of this should be at a light level that will prevent spawning. Oh, yeah. Excellent. And just to be safe, I may as well do that. And then we will put in a couple here. Okay, let me get this finished up and then we will test it. Okay, so now I removed the uh, note blocks from the front because if they were there and the, the slime blocks extended, then the note blocks would prevent it from retracting. Let's replace these. I'm going to leave off that one right there for the moment. And yeah, I dropped some note blocks. <laughs> okay. So here, this should just be. <clears throat> the polished uh, andesite. It's right here. Right? Yeah. Plop, 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 plop. And then what I want to do is I want to go like this. Uh-oh. Okay, I screwed something up. There is a note block somewhere that I didn't take into account. Right? Or, uh, or did I screw it up in a different way? <gasps> oh no! The sticky piston retracted, but it did not pull the slime block back with it. So do I need to extend a pulse or something? Let me put some lights out here so that nothing dumb happens. And I guess that includes me falling off my little walkway. Ugh, okay. 
Ah! Pick up that slime block. Okay, so the... All the redstone's up here. Okay, let's test my hypothesis first. Let me take... I have a slime block here now, right? And... Can I... Take out this piece of glass. And... No, let's do this. Will torch trigger a, a observer? Yes. Okay, so it's. I think it's 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 retracting. It's just not retracting, if you know what I mean. So let's take this and let's increase that to two ticks. And see what happens. Okay, that's the solution. Okay, interesting. So we can put the glazed terracotta back because I don't think that was the problem. And I should have ended up with some sugar cane out of that right there. So let's let's put some sugar cane there. And then uh Okay. Oh, and let's put glass back up there. Okay, so that means that we take the sugar cane and we put it back there. Pop. And then we grow the sugar cane up one more. All right. So we have a solution to the problem. So we have to extend the pulse. Can I get over to that one over there? So I probably have the same setting on all of these. Plop. So if the pulse is too short, it will push and then the sticky piston will let go. You could do that with like a one tick pulse before, but that wasn't always possible or doable. What's the light level here? Um, light 11. Oh, but we, we need that blocked off anyway. So we need this one. Wait, slime block? No, I need any blocks here. They don't have to be... This one needs to be terracotta, so I could do that, and then I can put that there, and then we can put our um, glazed diorite in up here, and that should complete that. Cool, so now that observer on the other side is never going to process because the sugar cane is done growing. So let's go trigger that as a test. Which would be this one here. So we break this pane of glass and then we break this sugar cane. There we go. That's what we want. And my cart should pick it up and bring it over to the chest over here. Cool. So now we know what we need to do. Should have more than that, but the mine cart might not be finished dropping stuff off. No, indeed it is not. Very cool. Okay, so now I know what we need to do there. I went through a stack and... Oh more than I expected so I'm I'm gonna have to get more glazed terracotta to finish off all of these I, I I don't even have enough to do this guy this side let alone this one over here but I won't do that now I won't do that on camera got any babies I see one there very nice okay it's nighttime and these guys get uh, a little bit these guys are a little bit more active. No, it's not nighttime. It's during the day. I have a clock right there. Oh, it's almost getting dark. 
Why, why is everyone inside? Everyone is inside. Hi, you're so cute. Make it the babies. Where is everybody? I didn't, I didn't send them all off to there. I guess I did. Okay. Well. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Yeah, that's right. No, no, you weren't in the mood. Okay. Okay, well. Anyway. That's that. So I'm going to fix, fix this one up. It doesn't look too hideous. Uh, fix this one up and then um, process more villagers. Hopefully I get one with, I find a librarian with some interesting new enchants like the channeling and loyalty and all those. Um, I assume the librarians can have those. I don't see why not. And, but, so anyway, oh, oh one, one other thing. So, had an interesting... Uh, interesting thing when I came in here and I was like oh well let's you know start while I'm waiting for the villagers to do their thing let's go through and collect some of this and this patch and this patch were like this patch whoa look at all those melons so something about the update the any watermelons that were or, or pumpkins that were already grown detached from the stem so like back here so for instance this water this melon here was attached to this stem it became detached so now this stem was able to grow another melon again so this sort of super super double dense um, melon and, and pumpkin farm and then the pumpkins are different in that they have no faces, right? So that's one of the changes they made. So now you get the pumpkins that you get are just pumpkins. They're not carved pumpkins. Um, and so you have to carve the faces in them if you want, but that also means that you can have a faceless pumpkin texture, which is pretty cool because it used to have to go to like weird lengths to find, okay, this side is never going to be seen. So I'll face it so that the pumpkin is facing that way. Not necessary anymore. You can just do that. And then if you want it with the face for whatever reason, like you want to make an iron golem or you want to make a snow golem, um, you then have to carve the face into the pumpkin and you get seeds out of the proposition. So when you carve it, you get a few pumpkin seeds, which you can then plant in another place. And, um, and then you can get more uh then you've got your carved pumpkin that you can make a jack-o'-lantern out of or you can make a um uh a golem out of it's pretty cool so anyway i wanted to i save this sort of double density patch to show before i harvested everything and the the farmer villagers want the regular pumpkins. They will not take the carved pumpkins. So I have a I have a bit of a stock stockpile of carved pumpkins that I cannot trade to the villagers. And uh, as far as I know, that's uh, there's no way of of converting a carved pumpkin back in back into being a regular pumpkin. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those. Those are maybe make a whole mess of snow golems. I don't know. But that's that. Plop. So anyway, so there we go. Oh, hi, Mr. Skeleton. So I re uh, sort of kickstarted the the dark room spawner. Um, I don't. I haven't been paying much attention to it, but it, it is spawning things, and I am getting drops, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I convert all these to regular pumpkins. Not converted, but you know, just these slots. So I've got some carved pumpkins in a couple shulker boxes here. Not quite sure what to do with them, but that's that's all fine and well. So that's all that I've got, I think a bed down here because the villagers are definitely more active when the the sun is up 
they come out and they do their farming and they throw potatoes at each other and they get uh, they get a little bit busy so there we go that's that's it for now oh look there's a dolphin and some fish oh that's cool I've got a little aquarium up there neat okay so anyway that's it this is Theron it's a Minecraft land party and thank you for watching and I will see you next time All right bye